Welcome to the quick start guide for Unified Remote. In front of us now we have the dashboard. Here you'll find access to all the main features of the app. The first thing we're going to do is access the server manager to add a new server. We're going to press add and add a server automatically. Now we'll select one of my computers running Unified Remote Server. You can also add a server manually if you want. The first thing you do is select the type, either Wi-Fi, 3G, or a Bluetooth connection. Then you enter all the other details as needed. Once you've added a server, we can go ahead and access the remotes list. This is the first time, so it's going to download all the remotes from the computer. After you've done that the first time, it's going to remember them in cache, so you won't have to download them again. Here we have a list of all the remotes available and enabled on the server. We can go ahead and start the Spotify remote. This is the main layout for a remote. We have some buttons, some text, and here we can, for example, swipe up with your finger to access the keyboard. You can swipe down to access the mouse remote. You can also press the menu button on your device to access the keyboard mouse and you can also launch the program on your computer. So in this case if you press launch it will launch Spotify on my computer. You can also change server. If you have different servers running in your home you can easily switch here. And you can also select quick switch. In quick switch you can select your favorite remotes and easily switch between them. You can also switch between them by swiping left or right. Thanks for watching this video. You'll find more videos of other featured demonstrations and tutorials on YouTube.